Now to a major local story First News has been following lead found in the drinking water in Sebring. Tonight there are still a lot of unanswered questions. We do have team coverage from Sebring. We're going to start off with 27 First News reporter Christina Mullen who heard firsthand about those concerns and frustrations. As people in Sebring are picking up cases of bottled water, there are still many questions, such as how long officials knew about this issue. We received a leaflet yesterday from Sebring, dated J January 15th. Why did it take seven days for them to distribute the information, and how long have they known about it? This is the letter Ashby is talking about. As you can see on the bottom, the letter is from the Sebring Public Water System, and it's dated January 15th. But people didn't get it until just yesterday, seven days later. That should have been told to the people right away. I mean, we pay a lot for our water, and to have it be unsafe, and we've been consuming it this long, that's scary. So someone in that gap has to answer some questions. I called Sebring's mayor, Michael Pinkerton, and the treatment plant supervisor, James Bates. And both men tell me the village manager, Richard Giroux, is the person to talk to. I tried to get answers from Giroux. He says he would talk on Monday, once he had the test results. While questions still remain about when people were notified, officials say one thing is for sure. Those homes have lead pipes from the street to the house. And what we're being told is, that's where the lead is coming from. Mahoning County Commissioner Anthony Trafficani tells me that there are seven homes that showed high levels of lead coming out of their faucets. And the pipes in those homes are going to have to be replaced. And then that's when, you know, the village, the elected officials, the county and the state, most definitely is going to have to step up to the plate and find out if, in fact, that there is money available to replace those pipes. Test results are expected to be released on Monday, but questions still remain about the notification process. And that's something First News will continue to ask officials. Reporting in Sebring, Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News.